Good morning. It is currently 9.08 a.m. on Sunday, October 4th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and today is my little puppy dog Luna's seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Luna. It's also uh, the birthday of my friend Lee. Happy birthday, Lee. Um, I've got big things planned for today that mostly involve playing video games with my friend Lee. Uh, but also later tonight, uh, Mike and I will be recording the latest episode of Watching 100 Movies, where we will be discussing uh, The Philadelphia Story and Midnight Cowboy. Uh, yesterday, I went to a board game night. Um, I, I knew one person well and and a couple of other people that I had met a couple of times at conventions, and so board game nights are fun. I played uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is a superhero-themed uh, card-based game. Uh, it's not um, it's not one of the ones where you have to build like a specific deck. You know, you you get like the the decks are set, um, and. Uh, Basically, the idea is that you have different cards that give you your, your different powers or abilities or moves that you might make while you're fighting the bad guy. And it was pretty fun. I played a character named Fanatic, who is a uh, Peruvian woman with giant angel wings, and her whole thing is uh, she's uh, like a paladin and um, self-sacrifice to uh, for power is, uh, is, uh, was her whole thing. So, like... She might have a power where um, she can have, uh, you know, make an enemy stop being able to attack, and you can hold keep that up for as long as you want, except that um, you, you you take two damage to yourself every time for every turn that you want to keep it going. For example, um, but there was lots of. Um, Lots of fun things, uh, and uh, in particular, just in keeping with the theme of that character, uh, one of the moves that I was able to do is one of my, you know, team partners was uh, very low on hit points, and we knew that she was going to take enough damage to be killed the next turn. And so, uh, the, before that turn, though, what I had already in play. Goodness, yawn, excuse me. Um, so I played a card called Divine Sacrifice, where basically what it is is that uh, I, you know, I can uh, do an attack that makes it so for that turn, all of the enemy's damage uh, will go to me instead of to anybody other anybody else that would otherwise take damage. And I did so knowing that it would make me, you know, lose all of my life. And so that it, it did, but I had already in play a card that when I was reduced to zero hit points myself, the Aegis of Resurrection would restore me to 10 HP. <laughs> um, it was pretty fun. Um, so basically, I was able to, to jump in front of the blast, save my partner, and then be resurrected myself. And then we were able to take the bad guy down in that next set of turns. And so it, it was very cool to have something that really felt thematically in keeping with my character. Um, and that w kind of the same went for the, uh, you know, the other three players. Because all the players play as heroes against a common supervillain in that game and and everyone seemed like they they got to do something that fit with their character that uh, really made a difference like one uh one guy's character doesn't really couldn't really do a lot of attacking but there was an environmental thing where we were fighting in like this super cold area that would have made us take two damage every turn but he had a, an ability that made it so that we didn't take that damage and only the bad guys did. And so I was like, hey, that, that was really helpful. And uh, another guy had a character that really isn't able to do very much for a while, but eventually 
he starts, um, you know, like he can charge stuff up. And then once he does that, he's really powerful. And so we were able to hold off enough time for him to, uh, to build up his abilities and, uh, and be super powerful. And then he was the, the one that did most of the damage to, to take out the bad guy, for example. So it was a, it was a pretty fun game. And I also, after that, played a shorter game of Lanterns, which was just kind of a simple tile-matching game with some pretty, uh, like, paper lantern motifs. It was good. So, board games are fun. All right. So, uh, I guess I have stuff to do. And so I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.